Hello， 大家好，欢迎来到园林区直播间，我是本次活动的主持人武荣，欢迎大家参与我们本期的 d e f i n i t y 专场特别活动。本期活动我们也是特别邀请到 d e f i n i t y 上的优质项目来做客园林区直播间。与大家一起探讨如何围绕 Definity 构建更好的 IC 生态。那么最近一个月的 Definity 生态也是发生了很多令人兴奋的发展啊，比如说在官方的 Medium 中发布了首届全球互联网的呃计算机黑客马拉松 Supernova。Supernova 是一个为期六周的，然后从呃二零2二年的5月10日到6月20日，总奖金是高达600万美金，包括指定的这个赛道奖。品，还有赠款呃资金和来自合作方的一些资助机会，那期待。底呃，对 d e f i n i t y 感兴趣的小伙伴们可以去参与哈。那具体详情可以在官方的 blog 里面去查看。还有就是由呃 d e f i n i t y 基金会的共同发起的亚洲首届以 Internet Computer 为核心的区块链项目的加速营。呃，就是为进入这个加速营的团队提供包括技术、产品、运营和资本等等在内的全方位的扶持。这一次的这个训练营也是在推出呃之后就呃受到了。整个 IC 生态的一个热烈的欢迎。那在本期的 Definity 特别的专场活动中，我们就是请到了 Open Chat 的呃工程师 Hamish 和 Crowd Credit Canvas 的 COO Mahamas Fay 呃加入我们的 Q&A 环节。那在圆桌上就分享各自在 Definity 中的一个构建和关于项目的一些内容。需要特别说明的就是，呃，原定于参与我们活动的有两位嘉宾临时因为会议的一些冲。冲突的原因，调整了参会的时间呢，那也是期待后面在我们 Definity 的专场活动中可以和我们见面。Hello everyone, I'm Dolores. Welcome to our fourth open day of Fourth Web3 community. We are a non-profit community, and now there are not only public chains project here, but also ecological developers and builders rely on different chains. So, uh, we welcome everyone to speak out through our Platform and promote the development of Web3 together. Thank you for joining us at the fourth open day, where we are going to talk about everything Web3 and the future of the internet. So、uh, we are also a best place to launch or discover the brand new products you have never discovered before. Today, I'm so happy to have you here with us, and we are going to talk about the contributors. Within the internet computer ecosystem, as well as some questions in our panel. So,、uh, as we know, the IC officially launched in May of 2021, and、uh, even in a short time since it has a lot to be positive about, due to its infinity capacity to scale and low data storage cost and the reverse gas fee model. The internet computer has made some difference in creating decentralized social media and uh, uh, NFT uh, projects. So, in the 228th events of the fourth open day, which is the specific events of the Definit series, Hamish, the so software engineer of the Open Chat, and、uh, the Mohammed Fay, the CEO at.、Uh, Crowd created cameras are invited as the guest speakers to share updates about the socialized of the、uh, definite ecosystem.、Uh, so the open chat is a decentralized message service on the de definite and also a truly decentralized alternative to、uh, WhatsApp and the Cicero protocol, known as the Crowd Creative Collections. It's an、um, open organization dedicated to building the first decentralized co-creation projects of the NFT, which users can create canvas independently or jointly through the decentralized network on the blockchain. 那 so 呃、uh, ，在本期的 Definity 的系列专场活动中，也是 Fourth Open Day 的第二百二十八期。那 Open Chat 的软件工程师 Ham Hamish 和来自 C3 Protocol 的 COO Mohammed Fay 受邀作为圆桌嘉宾，和我们分享有关 Definity 呃生态系统中的关于社交和 NFT 的一些最新的信息。呃，因呃，所以呢，我们就话不多说。
，先简单的介绍一下这个 Open Chat， 就是 Definity 上一个去中心化的消息服务哈，也是 Web 二中的一个对于呃。WhatsApp 的一个中去中心化的替代方案，那 Cis r e p o r t i c a l 也是致力于一个构建去中心化的艺术创作的开放性性组组织，那基于 Definity 打造一个 NFT 的去中心化的共创共享的一个呃项目，用户可以通过互联网上的去中心化的这个呃网络独立或者联合来创造，去鼓励全世界所有人。Uh, 加入 ，so, uh, okay, I'm going to move on to our panel and more about the project in IC ecosystem. And、uh, welcome to join us for the Q and A. Uh, first of all, I'd like to, um, uh, the ha uh Hamish would uh we would love to hear your introduction briefly, please. Hello, um, yeah, I'm Hamish Peebles. I Co-founded Open Chat along with a guy called Matthew Grogan.、Um, I think our story is a little bit unique because Matt actually worked with Dom for about ten years.、Um, they worked together on a few startups, one of which called Fight My Monster, which became quite big. But then, about ten years ago, they went and did different jobs. But then, a year and a half ago, or two years ago, Dom messaged Matt just out the blue. And said he was building this internet computer system. He's looking to get some good devs on board, and he、uh, persuaded Matt to join. It was quite an easy persuasion, I think, when he explained the system. It just looked really cool. And、um, I was working with Matt at the time, and so Matt told me about it, and we both jumped across. And yeah, we decided to try building a chat system, and that's how we ended up here. <laughs> that's really cool. So、uh, next, Faye, could you please introduce briefly as well? Yeah,、um, yeah. So <laughs> thanks for having me today again, Dolores.、Um, yeah. So my name is Faye Mohammed, and I'm CEO actually at the Proud Creative Collectible. Yeah. So we basically call it C C Three Protocol. Which is、uh, which stand for Crowd Created Collectible is actually the first entirely、uh, decentralized collaborative platform built on Infinity, and、uh, our goal is to stand as a connector between creators, collectors, and the Web three. Yeah. Okay, that's、uh, awesome. Welcome, Mohamish and Fai to our panel to discuss more about the project、uh, with us today. First of all, I'd like to invite、uh, our two guests to briefly introduce the project to the audience in our,、uh, and friends in our living、uh, broadcast room. So it will be really fun to get into that. Maybe we will start. Uh, with Hamish, Hamish, would you please、uh, answer the first question for us? Firstly, um, so you just want me to talk about it, right? Not give a demo, or uh, no, no, just a, a just... briefly introduction. Okay, cool, cool, yeah, um, yeah. So we're we're building Open Chat, which is essentially. Very similar to WhatsApp and Signal and WeChat and so on, we just want to make it like a normal chat app,、um, which everyone uses. Everyone uses chat apps all day, and so we want to make it fully featured, all of the things you'd expect to see on a existing chat app. But the key difference is that it is running entirely on the blockchain.、Um, very soon, we will switch over. Control to what's called an SNS, and when we integrate with the SNS, we will be able to hand control of the system over to the people who hold these Open Chat tokens, and that will be very different to the current chat services you have now, like WhatsApp and Signal. There, for example, WhatsApp is owned by Facebook, and so every time I I message someone, Facebook know they they can't see the actual messages; it's all end to end encrypted. But they can see who I've messaged and when I've messaged, and that's still very、um, useful data for them in terms of identifying users. And they can then use that to make money. Whereas 
in open chat we're not going to be collecting anything there is no central entity that, where the data funnels into the users will be in control of our roadmap so there are three of us building it now the two of us who started it and then a few months later a third person joined and we're going to keep roughly 10 percent or so of the voting power and all the rest of it we're going to give to the users so it's it's going to be very much a user driven project and soon will be open source and yeah we'll want to accept contributions from anyone who wants to get involved anyone who wants to get involved in any way like for example we have people already providing translations we have no way to um, reward them yet but once we have our open chat tokens we'll we'll give tokens to people who contribute and yeah we'll we'll see where it goes really we'll see where the users take it but who knows it's fun <coughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's really fun, cool. So, uh, like, uh, Hamish told us, and uh, we learned that Open Chat is uh, similar to Telegram or WhatsApp, but uh, runs entirely on the internet computer and allowed to scale massively through per user or per uh, group chat. Besides, uh, there will be more new version and uh, new functions such as ability to send message to other users, shows tips uh, when the message has been received by the open chat service and uh, uh, read by the recipients uh, and uh, instantly messaging for uh, online users. Uh, so uh, we can see the, uh, if, if our cont contacts are currently typing the message. And uh, mm, uh, it also had a group chat function, right? <laughs> so uh, yeah, with the integration of the notification so that we can see if we have message waiting, even if we don't have open chat open in our browser. So, uh, as private open chat has the ability to send a media message and uh, uh, such as the photos and videos right now, and uh, uh, it will have the own um, governance token, which allow the user to decide the future direction of the open chat and the benefit from its successful later this year, right, Hamish? <laughs> yeah. Um the sns functionality definity are working on it i think it's their top priority or one of their top priorities and um open chat will integrate with it as soon as it's available so i think maybe two months three months i'm not sure but you know we're ready so whenever they tell us that we can swap to using it we will and what that means is that any subsequent changes to the canisters uh, so currently, when we upgrade the canisters, we directly call the, to the canister and say upgrade. But once we give control to the SNS, in order to upgrade the canisters, we would have to make a proposal. And then the people who hold the open chat tokens can vote on that proposal. And anyone could make a proposal. But if they make a proposal that the community doesn't agree with, like, for example, if someone puts in a proposal that starts collecting data of users, obviously that's going to get rejected. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. So uh, I'd like, to, before we move on, I'd like to um, introduce the open chat for our Chinese audience here. Uh, so, 在, uh, 在刚才Hamish提到就是 open chat在功能上类似于像Telegram和WhatsApp但完全就是运行在ic上 uh, 可以通过每个用户或者每个群聊来扩大一个规模 uh, 那open chat团队也在不断的开发 具有新功能的呃新版本啊，包括像用户发送信息，然后显示open chat服务在，呃就是呃就是可以提示我们在什么时候我们的这个接收人，然后看到了信息，并且已经阅读了。比如说呃他现在已经可以发送，比如说像照
我们的一个信息。那目前呢，呃，两个主要功能，包括语音和视频通话的这样的呃功能，已经是可以实现了。那在未来，像啊，哈米是刚才提到的，当那个 S N S 就是被呃很好的嗯。呃呃，就是让它很好运行以后哈，就可以拥有自己的一个治理通证，然后决定，嗯，大家可以通过这个通证，然后参与社区的治理，然后参与 Open Chat 未来的发展。So that's really cool. Oh, okay. Um, we can move to the Fei. Fei, would you please introduce the this protocol with us as well? Uh, actually, Fei is coming to our event for the first, uh, second time. So, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> share us more about the Divinity Bootcamp and uh, some cooperation with uh, other projects like the IC Cars or something like that. <laughs> Come on, say, tell yeah. us uh, the latest news. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so just as I said previously, um, we actually build the protocol that uh, is essentially um, web three based yeah so we advocate for ourselves for a true decentralization yeah so actually we started our journey back in september 2021 yeah um, we that's when we had our first beta we started with the canvas yeah um, we had like three type of canvas we had the personal canvas, the um, the crowd canvas, which is the most used so far. Yeah. And uh, we also have the team canvas, which we use uh, in sort of a partnership with any with any other type of uh, NFT projects. Yeah. And also our protocol is a uh, is a uh, cross platform also. Like other other users or like other platform, other entities can use it, can implement the protocol, the C3 protocol, and they'll be eligible to earn fees as well when it's come to trading, like for NFTs and everything. We know right now NFTs are like you know a hot topic, yeah, and mostly on Definity. Uh, we right now see a lot of a lot of new newly created like marketplace and all this kind of stuff yeah and so far we have been blessed we um we had the chance to work with many projects like so far we work with different game we work with the avocado we work with the turtle we work with the icy boots and yeah we list them and many of them also did pretty well and right now we uh we are working on upgrading like, like yeah upgrading our website uh, it's gonna have a brand new design really brand new design really it's something that maybe a lot of people didn't see before and it's gonna be live probably in one or in two days yeah and after that also we have big partnership coming there is one big project that yeah I'm, I'm just gonna give a little bit of introduction about them uh it's called k verso yeah um, actually, they are building a metaverse. They build a metaverse, like a metaverse game, you know. So, and they will be releasing an NFT, and that NFT will be the avatar for users to use in the metaverse. And that projects, that that NFT will be listed on CC, and we are getting ready for them. We are already. Uh, making a lot of partnership, you know, a lot of promotion for them. Like what we do whenever we work with any type of projects, we make sure to support them. Yeah, we support them. We do a lot of promotion with them. We, we just do not, you know, release their product without any prior marketing. We make sure that they have everything they need, like the community is aware of them coming on the market and everything. So, and that's how we work and we like it. It's, it's not easy, it's kind of hard also, but yeah, we have to grow together, yeah. Okay, oh, that's really amazing. So <laughs> yeah, we will, uh, we, will, we will have a surprise, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, a lot. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, before we move on, we uh, need to explain. So uh, Faye, 刚才告诉我们呢, 
嗯，就是呃 ，C C C 哈，就是代表 c o r t c r e d i t Canvas， 呃 ，Canvas， 嗯、呃，这是第一个完全去中心化的一个协呃协作和共创的平台，可以连接并且允许数千万的这个创作者参与到 V 呃 Web Three 世界的当中呢，也可以通过嗯，比如说在 I P F S 上面的存储和呃跨链的一些交易，还有所有权的一些返还等等，让。嗯，大家就是所有的创作者，嗯，更加有激情的去参与到其中。那作为 IC 上的第二个 NFT 市场，就像费刚才有提到的，比如说 NFT 的 Avatar， 或者呃一些其他的，嗯，他们的一些创新啊，每个用户都可以在呃 Web Web 三中创造，然后拥有他们的所有权，并且在创造中赚钱，也可以与粉丝一起呃成长，并且共建社区，还有呃。C C C， 呃，之后的这些新网网网站的版本呢，也会呃持续的推出。那像刚才呃费友提到的他们的一些合作，包括像 I C Turtles、I C Cars 等等一些合作啊，就可以在嗯 I C 的呃 C C 的团呃 Twitter 上官官推啊，就可以看到他们就是非常活跃的一个和 Web 嗯呃就是那个 Definity 的 Ecosystem 的一个合作。So That's really great. Let's move on to the next question. So the second question is: you know, uh, Web two worlds. There are already many different types of uh social platform. What motivated you to develop your service using blockchain technology? And、uh, this question is for both of you guys. So, uh, Fei, would you please answer this for us firstly? All right. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, that's true. Actually, yeah. So you know, right now, let's say our own motivation right now is to promote decentralization, which is like、uh, something achievable with、uh, Web two, right? So we all know, like Web two platform are completely centralized platform, meaning users have. Limited rights.、Mm, let's say platform like、uh, YouTube, you know, like TikTok. Any any creator over there might have like a、uh, hundred hundred of thousands of followers there. But、uh, once the app decide to censor you or to ban you or to delete your account due to whatever regulation or rules, then you end up just losing everything. You know, it's not. It means it's not really decentralized, right? Just like Hamid was explaining, like on their social app, you know, users get to decide. Users get to decide everything that happened on the app. It's not just one person or like one owner who just sits there like Facebook and decide everything for everyone. You no, know? right now with Web three apps, users get to decide. Users get to govern the app, yeah, and by using their power, their right, their vote right, they can, they can decide how the app is supposed to be going, for like let's say for this month or like for six months, how the app is supposed to be rolling, or like, um, and also the creator gets not to control everything, yes, because. As as he mentioned, like they they might have like ten percent of what right, but all the rest gonna belong to the community. So it's entirely decentralized, which is what we need right now. We need users to, you know, to take care of their own destiny. You know, to decide how how their data should be used, but not the creator of the app just taking advantage of them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Uh, Hamish, do you have any additional ideas? We'd love to hear your thoughts as well. Um. Yeah. So, what motivated you to develop your service using blockchain technology? Well, yeah. Again, we we're in quite a unique scenario in that Dom actually reached out to us. We weren't we weren't building in the crypto space before. We were just working on like web web two services. Um, but then when Dom reached out to us and we looked into Definity 
it just looked too cool to pass up the opportunity. And um, we we learned about the internet computer. We kind of spent a few weeks, months, even um, getting up to speed with what it could support, um, playing around with it, building some little test services. And then we came up with the idea of building OpenChat. We thought it showed off its capabilities quite well. Um, things like the latency, when you when you make an update call, it takes about one and a half or two seconds to for that to be confirmed. But when you send a message, have receiving the message two seconds later, that's that's fine. And also it it you know theor- in theory it can scale indefinitely. And so um, yeah, we we came up with just building a chat app and when we showed it to dom like an early demo he said like right yep just keep doing this and so uh yeah we've just been building that ever since okay yes okay that's great so uh yeah i think um uh there is the record that in 2021 just uh, uh, six companies generate uh, 57% of the global network traffic. And uh, uh, that means these six companies set the rules and dominate digital cultures. So uh, these net- networks are the core infrastructure of our digital lives. And uh, they prioritize uh, their own content and uh, their advertising networks. But the uh, uh, Web3 is decentralized and choosless and uh, mm, permissionless. So we can change uh, such uh, situations in Web2. That's why we build the social dev on the Web3, right? Definitely. <laughs> yes. So, uh, it, yeah, just in the past, 有仅有六家的公司就产生了全球百分之五十七的一个网络流量比如说像谷歌呃 就是这六家平台，它就会考虑用它自己的内容以及广告去推广他们的呃内容来影响到我们。所以嗯，在呃 let's move on the next question. So the internet computers of the Web three is relying on the up to tech. So what contributions do you think IC has made in promotion of social development of Web3? So uh, Hamish, would you please answer this for us? Yeah, um, I think what the internet computer does, which as far as I know, no other chain can do all of these is, um, well, for one, when you make a change, it's, it's quick. It takes one second, two seconds, which is, you know, Bitcoin is 10 minutes or an hour if you want it fully confirmed. Um, Ethereum is relatively slow as well compared to internet computer. But then it can be made even quicker because of the query requests. So the internet computer supports two types of requests. One is an update and an update is any request which changes the state. And that takes about let's say it's about a second and a half or two seconds but a query request doesn't change state and so it doesn't have to go through consensus and it doesn't have to go around all of the replicas in a subnet it just goes to one so a query request is just as quick as a normal web2 request and that's pretty groundbreaking for a crypto project and then also the internet computer has the reverse gas model which means um as an end user, you don't have to care that it's running on the blockchain. You don't need a wallet. You don't need to fund it in any way. For example, OpenChat is just free for anyone to use. Whereas if you were using Ethereum and you wanted to make a transaction or send a message or do anything, the person making the action is the one who has to pay. And I think for getting 
widespread adoption, that model doesn't work. You have to use the reverse gas model because people need to be able to try things out without having to pay. Um, and I guess having everything on chain, you know, the front end is served up from chain. Um, yeah, I think. Oh, oh, HTTP, being able to make HTTP requests from canisters is a big one. That hasn't actually been um, launched fully yet, but um, it will mean that you don't need to have um, like external systems in order to communicate with the outside world. They're often called oracles. Essentially, you don't need these oracles if you're using the internet computer. You can talk directly to the outside world without having to trust any third parties. So I think all of these mean that the internet computer just allows you to do everything fully on chain, end to end. I think that's that can't be done by any other system, and it, it just means you're trustless all the way. As in, when I say trustless, you don't need to trust any external party. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Uh, so, uh, Faith, uh, do you have more opinion to share with us? Yeah, uh, basically he mentioned everything. Um, uh, yeah, like uh, the internet computer is basically one of a kind, I think. I might say one of a kind of a blockchain when it's come to everything they, uh, they successfully put together. You know, they are known for being the fastest, you know, the fastest uh, purpose blockchain for Web3, the app, you know, DeFi game, NFT, social media, and metaverse projects. Everything is is built on chain, you know, and they are the only one who so far could achieve those performances. Yeah. And everything is basically free, free of gas, compared to other chains, like you go on Ethereum, for example, you want to mint an, an NFT, you're supposed to pay a lot of money. Even though they're using, like people can now use, uh, I'd say they can now use uh, Polygon, but still you pay some money. But if you decide to build, for example, on Definity, like those, those gas fees, you don't even feel them. It's, it's like less than half a dollar, imagine. So, which is something already great achievement, right? And also we know many, many uh, public chains outside, they just rely on centralized, you know, many centralized protocol. They rely on corporate cloud services to host their platform and data. Yeah, to run also their nodes, something like that. And those are owned by Amazon Web Services, you know, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, something like that. But when it's come to the internet computer, everything is stored, everything is on chain, you know. So I think it's for something who want to build in a in 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 like a single way, not something that is hybrid. I think the internet computer is 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 the best is the best option to take, and also another thing I, I believe is uh, is making it grow so 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 fast is the fact that they put together a lot of grant also for devs developers everyone who is willing to build something re revolutionary you can apply for a grant and I think it's it's a good way to attract more people to come and build and participate in the growth of the ecosystem, yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. So, um, like Hamish and Fei just mentioned, the internet is, uh, uh, gas fee is very low and very fast. 很便捷，然后可以让我们很多人有无障碍的去使用它在上面所构建的一些 DApp. Um, so I think the most important is the internet computer can scale to onboard capacity, uh, rebuild the web service in the creative yeah. ways, and offer a more open technology uh, stack and uh, um, the the adaptive is very efficient. And is low cost and in uh, and uh, it's 
environmentally friendly, by yes. the way. So uh, we really eager to see more projects built on the IC. Uh,的架构是一个非常嗯便于让大家去使用的一个呃供应链哈，然后它也会很呃高效，对，就是当然也很环境友好，所以就是呃为我们很多项目都提供了一些便利，就是我们期待在IC的这个呃生态里面可以
Yeah. <clears throat> so Open Chat is a bit behind, I think, a lot of these other projects in this regard, because currently we we don't have an NFT ourselves, or we don't have any functionality that NFTs um, enable. But that that's definitely something we will do. Um, because really we want to become a chat app that everyone can use and so our priority for now has been to build the standard chat app features but once that's done our our next goal will be to scale and get as many users as we can on board and i think nfts are a great way of doing that they kind of can they can turn it into a game almost and if people can you know it's like collecting pokemon cards if people can have fun and in turn make more money then they're going to come and use your system and so there there are things that we've thought of doing with nfts but we haven't started any of them yet like we could have groups where you have to have a certain nft to get in or we can give nfts out for um, active users yeah there, there's a lot of things we can do but we haven't we haven't done any of them yet, but we will. <laughs> yeah. There's only three of us. So there's only three of us. So for now, we're we're just building like the, the chat functionality. <laughs> but once that, once that's done, we'll start doing some of these NFT features and, and other features as well that just will allow users to um will just entice more users to join the, the system and can in can and can reward users for themselves growing the system you know for referring friends and or just being active users things like that yeah 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 we are looking forward to open chat we'll have uh, more nfts to um, connection with the more web3 ecosystem <laughs> and yeah and development of bigger uh, community mm. yeah uh, definitely like uh how much and uh if i said we think there are several NFT trends that will uh, bring social media's audience into the Web3, uh, including the NFT uh, verification and uh, uh, various forms and the dy dy dynamic avatar, something like that. Maybe in the uh, near future, all major social platforms will uh, implement NFT verification, allowing you to connect uh, your wallet or displayed your verified NFT on your profile. And uh, uh, as public chains like Definity and uh, uh, side chains like Polygon, uh, NFT price will come down near their gas phase will alone enable developers to build more interactive and uh, uh, compatible it, yeah, uh, into the NFTs, making them inherently more social. Now, various forms of the NFTs like PFP, music, and uh, else to express one's uh, artistic taste to the peers and uh, desire to express one's identity. Um, in some cases, the desire to turn out perfect and uh, um, some dynamic avatar, uh, such as um, the NFT avatar, uh, will be an opportunity to um, self-expression on social media and will give a voice to the much uh, larger audience or of the creators. So, uh, so uh, 我们就是刚才在我们的讨论中像费和哈密什都有提到哈那 嗯，去进行一个社交，比如说在呃游戏中的呢，那我我们都呃就是比如说 NFT 
还有像呃，因为公链呃，包括像侧链，他们的 gas 费也越来越低了，那么就可以允许呃一些建设者，然后去开发更多的嗯、呃、关于 NFT 的一些嗯构建，然后让它变得更加呃交互性强，然后也可以组呃更更加具有组合性吧，就是可以让他们更加具有一些社交社交属性，然后就更加。<笑>可以服务于呃我们的 social d a p 对吧 ？In the Web3 ecosystem， 那各种形式的 NFT， 包括像我们现在大家都所呃已经熟悉的那个 PFP 的这种头像，还有一些其他的形式，比如说 music 啊和呃艺术等等，向大家去表达自己的一些艺术品味以及自己和团队的一些愿望。那在某种情况下呢，也可以就是去。呃，就像我们刚才都提到的，就可以去呃获得一些收益嘛，嗯，所以我们也是期待 NFT 可以作为嗯更加的自我表达以及个性化的一些社交媒体上面的展示，然后去展示更多的人的一种嗯内心的一种声音，以及他们所代表的一些嗯意意意愿吧，愿景哈。So let's move on to the next question.、Uh, it has been uh, uh, suggested that decentralized social media can reshape the social media industry and uh, refine the、uh, area of the digital free speech in the Web3 area.、Uh, what do you think about this? Fei, would you please answer this for us firstly? Yeah.、Uh, um, yes. So.、Um... I, I believe we kind of talk about this as well. So it is mainly the like the reason why I think Elon Musk even was trying to you know his recent acquisition of Twitter because as we know Musk is a digital free speech advocate and he saw that Twitter has too many censorship. In other words, Twitter was. Too much decentralized. Yeah, with just a small group of people who are just in charge, who are handling everything. So people like you and I couldn't didn't have any power. You know, we we just use it. Like let's say you, if if today you you make a tweet and you want to modify the tweet tomorrow, you don't have any 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 power to do. You might write some 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 words, but The bots will just censor, so your tweet will be deleted or like will be hidden to the public. So he doesn't want that, and he he said he he just want to unlock Twitter because Twitter has a lot of power, but it need to be unlocked. So that's that's the main reason he 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 just try he he did his best to buy it. So he want to make actually like right now Twitter is a web two app is a web two app. Right, but Musk want to make it a Web three app, a fully decentralized app that belongs to the public, where everyone is free, you know, free of speech. Yeah, so I I think it's 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 the best thing. It's it's the best thing he could do for everyone. Like you know,、yeah. making it free, making the 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 source code. You know, making it open source, so everyone, every dev can even contribute. You know, into making a better algorithm that govern the Twitter. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Yeah.、Uh, Hamish, would you like to give us more about this? Yeah.、Um, so Open Chat won't have. Any rules by default, you know, there's no admin who's overseeing it. It's just up to the group owners. Essentially, all of the chat messages are either private messages or in public groups, and no, sorry,、uh, they're either like private messages between people, and we'll never have any restrictions there because we can't see those messages. Or they could be in private groups, or they can be in public groups. And those groups have each group has one owner, and the owner just it's up to them what rules they want to apply. So, if the owner 
says I don't allow X, Y, and Z, then they can block people who who do those things. But those people wouldn't be blocked from the system. They can still go and make their own group where they can they can do whatever they want. Um, the 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 community as a whole it might come together to make some rules maybe if the community decides that you know there could be rules like no child porn or whatever that would people would if they didn't stick to then other users could flag them and then there could be super admins or something like that who could block based on people um, not sticking to these rules but again all of this is just dependent on what the community decides as it is there are no rules so who knows it, yeah i guess we'll just have to see in in six months time or in a year's time how how it's progressed it could be that we end up needing to have some rules but those rules would be very permissive you know they wouldn't they wouldn't block things unless the community really decided that those things shouldn't be allowed but but again it wouldn't be up to individuals it would be up to everyone uh, it wouldn't be up to an individual i mean it'd be up to everyone yes yes that's true yeah i know that uh, from a uh, recent link with meta shut uh, shutting down some pages pages related to the disagreeing opinion to uh, years ago with some social media figure out uh, how to deal with the election influence from those social platforms. So we uh, personally feel, however, that no voice should ever be silenced. And uh, uh, social media should be an entire uh, society run, no concerned by anyone or by any organizations. Um, so, uh, Web3.social media, uh, media,它就是更加,呃,大家可以去,呃,表,自由的去表达,我们的任何的声音都应该,不被,呃,随,随意的去,呃,删掉或者去,呃,封锁或者被压制。那社交媒体应该有整个一个社会去运行 就是会通过社交平台，然后去干扰呃选举等等，去做出这样的一些影响。那所以我们的在Web3中，呃，social media 它可能就会在这些方面去呃给我们带来一些和Web2中的social media 所不同的一些呃影响。So let's move on to the next question. It's uh, our last question. Uh, the question is, Definity will celebrate the first anniversary of its main launch next month. What do you think is the biggest progress in the ecosystem during this year? And uh, what are your perspectives for the next anniversary? Hamish, do you have any ideas about this? Can you share with us? Yeah, um, the biggest progress. So one of the obvious ones would probably be even though it's not live yet the bitcoin integration which will be imminent maybe in a few weeks i think and um a few other chains if you know a few other crypto chains have done bitcoin integration but all of them as far as i know have had to use a bridge and a bridge is essentially an off chain centralized service and in order to use the bitcoin network from the other chain you have to trust that bridge and if that bridge gets hacked which they often do then you've lost your money you've lost your bitcoin whereas with definity they're integrating directly with the bitcoin network and so there is no external centralized 
component, it's the the subnet, the internet computer subnet talking directly to the Bitcoin network. And so, um, you know, a lot of the security issues that other chains have won't exist on the internet computer. And um, what this means is that you'll be able to send Bitcoin on the internet computer and it will take two seconds or so rather than an hour. And it will cost you, apparently it's going to cost 10 Satoshi to do a Bitcoin transaction. Whereas if you do a transaction on the normal Bitcoin network, it's about 500 on average. So it's about 50 times cheaper. It will take two seconds and there's no loss of security. So I think this is going to be huge when compared to the offerings that other chains have. Um, then I guess another one is the SNS. The SNS, which again, I guess I'm kind of cheating because SNS isn't available yet, but it will be imminently. Um, but I, I think those two, the SNS and the Bitcoin integration are completely groundbreaking that no other chain can really compete with. So I, I think those two, once they're available, you know, the things will start to take off. Yes, yes, definitely. The security is really important for the blockchain and uh, SNS is really uh, big news for the Definity ecosystem. Um, 对, Hamish 刚才有提到, 就是在我们Definity的生态中, uh, 安全性是... 非常值得我们所强调的，并且我们也是期待呢下一步的SNS的呃的出现哈，因为它现在目前还是没有上线的。呃，so uh, 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 Fei, uh, mm-hmm. we do hope we love to hear your thoughts as well. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I think um, as Hami said also, like everyone, the whole community is bullish about the. Uh, like the Bitcoin, the Bitcoin need integration, which is a great step for Definity. I mean, they, they have been achieving a lot so far. Yeah. And for such a young blockchain, I think they did so far, they, they did pretty well so far. Yeah. They, 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 they did a lot. They accomplished a lot. And also put in that thing. Right now, I think it's something that is needed and it's something that's going to open, you know, put a lot of eyes on, uh, on, on, on Definity, which is great. And also for the next anniversary, yeah, I just hope uh, more adoption will follow. Also more the app, also more developers who will build, you know, groundbreaking apps. Yeah. And also more publicity more publicity from the Definity Foundation, also more support to support more, you know, you, uh, developers who build, you know, some great app to support them and put them also in touch with uh, more investors because there's a lot of investors in this in the space. They, they just uh, trying to find the next big thing. Yeah, so I think if, I don't know how they can do it, but if they could, you know, try to, Put, use their, their power, you know, to put, uh, to, to lift up all those new, the app, you know, put them in the, in, in, in the light. I think it would be really beneficial to each and everyone. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, 对. Uh, Fei, Fei 刚才有提到就是, 嗯, Definitely,中它比较看到就是更多的一个depth的一个集成以及它们的构建. So it's uh really hard to imagine that the internet computer to place uh so many exciting next steps in a short time. Uh, with successful development and uh, integrations with other uh, blockchains, there's a lot to be excited about for the internet computer making blockchain technology. And the uh, crypto transactions and the world of the Web3 are about to get a uh, lot more exciting. Okay, let's stay tuned and uh, catch up with the development of all these projects. Thanks again, Hamish and uh, Fei, for today's amazing sharing about what you have done. Take care and see you next time. Yep, thank you for having <laughs> us. Yep. See you. How the bye.
。好的，那再次感谢我们的两位嘉宾今天的精彩到来，呃，和分享哈。那让我们期待在二零二二年在更多的领域的进一步合作和发展。也期待 Divinity 生态的能够呃更加繁荣和社区更加丰富。好的，那感谢我们呃原力开放日的嘉宾和直播间的朋友们。原力区后续呢也会继续为大家带来有趣的话题以及生态资深资深大咖的分享。欢迎关注我们的呃原力区的公众号，加入我们的 Telegram 和 Discord， 在社群内和我们。互动交流，那精彩活动第一时间知道。谢谢大家，我们下周二再见。Thanks everyone. We do hope you have a great day here with us. See you next time.